Hi everybody, it's Az here from Heel vs Babyface. Now some more mythic sets have been dug up from the Alpha of Warlords of Draenor and today is the turn of the Druid. Now then, I can see this set being very polarizing indeed. I can see a lot of people thinking this is absolutely fantastic and I can also see the point of view as well of a lot of people thinking this is a bit... Yeah. Okay, so my viewpoint is, well, let's just have a look at the actual set first. Blizzagon with a very insectoid feel to it, as you can clearly see from the wings, and also the mandible-esque uh, kind of head and shoulders too. Kind of looks like the, the uh, what's it called? In Insecticons from Transformers. <laughs> All those years ago, a little bit of amalgamation of that, and instead of being purple... They've kind of wax and green on it for the Mythic set. Um, I think it's quite a brave move. I mean, normally when you think of Druid and the nature aspect of Druid, you either get kind of tree-hugging, no disrespect, Druids, or you kind of get more animal-based. You know, you kind of get a more animal-based feel. It's not that often that you get something as, as natural as sort of insect life. Yeah, I know on the shoulders on one of your sets recently you had a spider hiding in the shoulder, but I think that's pretty much as close as you've you've sort of got. And and the the set itself was like a tree, you know, it's like a tree that the animals lived in. So I think that was the kind of more of the theme. But this is just out and out. Bzz, 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 bzz. Now part of me wants to dislike it. Nothing to do with druids, nothing to do with the set design, but purely because of the freaking Mantid, and I'm just sick to the back teeth of Mantid. Uh, never liked the Mantid. Uh, so I've got that kind of, uh, I don't know what you call it really, chip on my shoulder? I've got my, <laughs> I've got like a chip on my shoulder about that. So that sort of makes me take it with a little bit of caution, but... I've seen this thing animated and the wings come out and pollen is, is falling from various elements of it. It's got some nice um, glow effects on the set too and it looks bloody great. Now this set I don't think is shown off in its proper glory because number one humans can't be druids. So I, I don't think it looks right for a start but if you put that on a night elf I think it would look pretty stunning. You put it on a troll. <gasps> You put it on a dru uh, on a torrent. Ah, you know what I mean. It, it, it could it could look really really good indeed, both male and female versions of it. So I'm really hoping uh, that people give it a go. Going around to the accessories, I think the belt is wicked. Are they Blizzard making some fantastic belts at the moment? I really do think they are. They're making some absolutely bloody fantastic belts when it comes to the sets. I'd like to see the belt brought back into being part of the set. You know, we've got four piece and I can understand why we've got four piece but come on, let's make it six yeah? Let's stick the belt and the boots back into it, that's what I say. Belt and boots please, please. Um, but from behind, easy now. From behind, I think it looks great. I love the way that the wings uh, operate. I really do. I, I think it's I think it's really, really cool. Um, and I'd love to see players running around the game uh, looking like a boss, to be quite frank. Uh, but as ever, I'd like to know what you have to say in the comments down below. And I hope you enjoyed the vid. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And also subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook and Twitch.tv forward slash Hill vs Babyface for live Warlords of Draenor streaming. And I shall be back, as ever, with more stuff very soon. So you take care, everybody. Bye-bye.